We are here in Deir el Balah's camp and today we visited a pregnant female from the Gaza Strip called Sujood Hussam. She's only 18 years old and she is pregnant for the first time in her family. Unfortunately, Sujood is going to bring her baby in a displaced area. She has been displaced since October 17 and here is where she lives right now with 24 other members. Sujood has been telling us how hard it has been for her to live displaced in a new area she never went to after she was displaced from Al Zaytun neighborhood in the northern Gaza Strip. Sujood said that this is the only thing she have left while she was forcibly evacuated from the Gaza Strip. Sujood and thousands of Palestinian females that have been pregnant and due to deliver their babies in the past couple of months during the war on Gaza have been witnessing a humanitarian collapse where they don't have any privacy, they do not have any medical care and they also do not have any clean bathrooms and access to water. They have been telling us that they're very sad that they're bringing their babies on this world during this war. However, Sujood told me that she still has hope that there will be a ceasefire agreement and she will give delivery in her home in the northern Gaza Strip. Conditions are really hard. Being pregnant, sharing a single mattress with my husband, water drips down on us. I was expecting to deliver the baby back home with my mom and dad around me and be prepared for the baby. I was very scared. When they said we must leave, we started to leave. My mother-in-law would not let me go. She said I should deliver the baby there. I said, let me go and see what happens to me. I was seven months pregnant. Yesterday, I began the ninth month. I have nothing prepared for the baby. No diapers, no clothes. Once I deliver the baby, I hope many good people will help. At least 55,000 Palestinian women gave birth in the most inhuman situation during the war on Gaza. This is Hind Al Khudari, Al Jazeera, Deir el Balah. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.